Okay, looking at this aircraft, so we got a lot of damage, came down really hard on its nose. So today we're going to be going over the final report. Hilltop Lake, Texas, September 20th, 2020, just about two years ago. Piper PA-46, loss of engine power, November 236 Kilo Mike was the tail number four, fatal. This was what the aircraft kind of looked like. It was a Piper PA-46 Malibu. Um, it was built in 1984. And again, November 236 Kilo Mike. This is the analysis. So while cruising at flight at 19,000 feet mean sea level, the pilot declared an emergency to the air traffic um, that had loss of engine power and needed to divert. The pilot elected to divert to an airport that was five miles south of his position. Um, and then so they tried to come in directly to and circled around the airport one time while descending. The last data point showed that the airplane was 1,250 feet mean sea level and about one mile north of the approach end of the runway from cruise altitude of 19,000 feet until the last data point about 12 minutes and 45 seconds had elapsed which equated to an average rate of descent of 1,392 feet per minute. So my question is with that far of uh, altitude is there such thing as too much altitude um, and too close of a runway because it seemed like at this altitude 19,000 feet and only five miles he had to get down quick um, which maybe contributed to the crash um, I'm no pilot but would you have picked another airport farther away so I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and then here's the flight path that he took and you can see the descent was pretty rapid there on the altitude and then so here's the aircraft here again so if fire came on scene you can see here there's no fire no fuel spill but basically it's just a body recovery one pilot three passengers you're going to wait for ntsb fa to come in here so you want to protect the evidence protect the scene and then kind of wait for their arrival so they can do their jobs so witnesses located about a quarter mile south of the end of the runway on the miniature golf course noticed a propeller on the airplane was not turning they stated that they saw the airplane in a really hard left bank the nose of the airplane dropped and impacted the ground in a near vertical attitude which is pretty much what we saw in that first picture the airplane came to rest alongside the road 200 feet south of the airport property and it impacted uh, terrain in a nose low near vertical uh, attitude and sustained substantial damage to the fuselage and both wings and looking at the aircraft it looked like the firefighters maybe did some cuts here take off the roof and also to look for any survivors um, but because there was none they're going to go ahead and leave them there for NTSB but back to this, both the engine failure and power off uh, landing checklist contain instructions for the pilot to establish the airspeed of 90 knots. However, with the wind aloft and the reported ground speeds, it was evident this did not occur. Furthermore, the power off landing checklist in instructed the pilot to be about 1,500 feet above the airport on the downwind leg. However, data shows that they are 5,000 feet above the airport on this downwind leg. So the rapid descent from 5,000 to 750 feet above ground level on the final leg resulted in unstabilized approach. So the probable cause for this thing um, is basically the loss of engine power for reasons they could not determine and the pilot's failure to maintain control of the airplane which resulted in an aerodynamic stall and spin contributing to the accident was the pilot's failure to establish and maintain a proper glide path. So yeah basically that's kind of what i was wondering how do you train for that power off landing checklist like do you guys turn off the engine and practice or are you worried about that or is that a stupid question again these are the four that are on board just to keep them in mind at all times you know we're sad for them and their families let's not forget about that and then if you want to see more of these NTSB final reports and you like these kind of things, go ahead and like the video and then uh, I'll make some more. So thanks for watching. Star for Autumn Keone. See you guys next time.